an apocalypse, saccade again, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's almost here. This spring will be the first time in two centuries when the U.S. will see the emergence of two different broods of cicada. One brood of insects emerges from the ground every 17 years, the other every 13 years, and this year we're just lucky. The timing is just right that both will appear from the ground at the same time. KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain joins us in the studio after a day digging in the woods. I had a great time and we are <laughs> lucky because the last time this happened was in 1803 when Thomas Jefferson was president. I wanted to learn more so I met up with a biologist from the University of Iowa in the woods near the Coralville Dam and we talked about what people can expect in the coming weeks. This is the first of possibly millions in this forest. Before we interrupted it, this cicada nymph was preparing to wake up from a 17 year rest. Cicada has burrowed up to the surface and made an exit hole, but then has gone back under the ground waiting for the soil temperatures to rise up to the correct temperature for emergence. And biologist Andrew Forbes expects that will happen here in the next month. That they'll be swarming up all of the trees and eventually making a, an amazing noise, uh, really, really loud. You'll, it'll be hard to talk uh, where we're standing right now. That's Forbes' prediction, even though the Cedar Rapids, Iowa City area is only going to see one brood. We're not expecting any overlap in the state of Iowa. Illinois is about the only place that will see both the Great Southern Brood and the Northern Illinois Brood at the same time. But even so, Forbes is excited. For biologists like me, this is my eclipse. Forbes said it's unlikely you'll see too many cicadas in a suburban area. They're mainly going to be in places that have been a forest and stayed a forest. But even if a forest was removed and then replanted, the cicadas aren't there because because they went with the trees. So if you want to see or hear the show, you may have to make a bit of an effort, but Forbes for one thinks it'll be worth it. I recommend people do go and see them because it is an amazing natural phenomenon that happens only in the eastern part of the United States and nowhere else in the world. Even though each part of Iowa is only going to see one brood, those broods are different for different parts of the state. The Cedar Rapids area will see those 17-year cicadas, and the very far southeastern part of the state will see the 13-year ones. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News. More than two years after one of the strongest tornadoes in Iowa history struck winter set, one couple is finally on track to begin work on a new house. The storms brought several twisters and widespread damage across central Iowa. Seven people died, six others were hurt. Ryan and Mandy Gaines lived in Madison County at the time. Now the tornado left only rocks and dirt where their home once stood.